Hi, and welcome to our Endocrine Division. My name is Ursula Kaiser, and I'm the Chief of the Endocrine Division. I'd like to tell you a bit about some of the research aspects of our Endocrine Training Program. During the second and third year of your Endocrine Fellowship, much of your time will be spent performing a research project to give you the opportunity to train and research and develop research skills. I'm very proud of the depth and breadth of research opportunities available in our division, from basic translational and clinical research to epidemiological and outcomes research, even educational research. Our division has a long history of excellence in endocrine research, dating back to the days of George Thorne and adrenal extracts. Among the many noted research discoveries arising from our faculty are the cloning of thyroid hormone deiodinases, the discovery of the calcium sensing receptor, characterization of glucocorticoid remedial, remediable hyperaldosteronism, and the elucidation of the cardiovascular effects of aldosterone. More recent advances include molecular di diagnostics for thyroid nodules to better identify those at high risk for malignancy, the identification of the first genetic cause of central precocious puberty with implications for understanding how metabolic and environmental influences affect reproduction, and the identification of the first histone demethylase, which has led to insights into the role of epigenetics in human disease. We have experienced senior researchers, mid-career level researchers, and importantly, enthusiastic early stage investigators. You can meet with all of them to explore research opportunities. During the first year of your fellowship, you'll have some protected time to explore research projects and think about what you'd like to pursue during your second and third years. Don't worry, we'll provide mentorship and guidance for you in this process. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the fertile academic environment around us in the Longwood Medical Area and the Harvard community. There are many opportunities for collaborative projects with colleagues in this area. For example, at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, at Joslin Diabetes Center, at the Harvard Medical School, and at the School of Public Health, among others. In case you're worried about funding for your research, let me reassure you that our division has two NIH training grants to support your research activities during your fellowship. In addition, despite the current challenging funding environment, we're fortunate to have eight of our fellows and junior faculty supported by individual NIH fellowship grants and K awards. Our goal is to guide those of you wishing to pursue careers in research through each step of your training and career development to help you with your funding applications and ultimately to help you launch your own successful research program. Finally, I'd like to also mention that there are many career opportunities beyond those you might traditionally think of, including careers with a focus on clinical expertise, the development of innovative new clinical programs, and involvement in medical and postgraduate education. We here in the division are fully committed to, the, to your success regardless of the career track you pursue.